Chrome and black, East London's finest graffiti store has been holding down for a minute on a cult level. Killers, man. Oh, uh, catch you coming out your fucking crib. Zim from Zimmer, I'll have you for lunch and dinner. They move like Ben, them man stay still up. You run full whip with a at all when they spin that way like Bryce and Tiller. Them and I'm passing wind like Goss and Weller. You can go ask Keller, I box the beat, I'm a freedom killer. Stick out on you like a world done sticker. Mm, wanna try me, but that's out of line like a frantic sniffer. Ride and death more, but you start a figure, go figure. If you sell out, you get bigger. Knock us, that's dead out, I ain't in her. My flow's exposed, don't panic quicker. Panic attack, but it's trying to get back to eat your dinner. Tell us, did you? Skipping it, what? Skipping it, flow. Said they wanna diss the killer for a love and tell them no. Boy, could I never go where the killer go? Boy, could I run up and kill a hey, killer show? If I have to body and body in front of somebody, I'm gonna let somebody know. The money will come, but the money will go. If you're only gonna invest your money in us, no. No, you can't see the killer making no. Everybody see me, everybody know. When I say 15 grand for a show, man has to say yes. Can't say no. Enough y'all turn up when man I roll. Can't enough y'all them want to hear my flow. Now these girls ain't letting me go. Just a few things they're letting me know. Yo. Plumbing, line two. Plumbing, line two. You got the shot, we're here, the vibe's great. Yeah. But you come from like an era of racking, getting, getting up the hard way. Teeth right. in the pavement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like now we're in this situation, right? <laughs> you know, you know, as you get older, all of a sudden you got the shop and shit. Like, and uh, yeah, what does that pose for you? How does it? How do you? How does it? How you validate that in your head? It feels strange to me because back in the days we used to go, back in the days we used to go racking. It feels all strange because I always looked at the painting mats and think, oh, you know what? I'd do anything to have that rack of paint in my house. It was like a dream mm. just to have have. A, like a quarter of what we got in here, in your, like, own it. And now we have it all. Yeah. So, it's, yeah, it's crazy. So you can live your dreams. It's not impossible. I guess what, I guess what you're, where you're coming from is, like, and I get the argument, it's like, there was a time where that, that that's been laboured, that's yeah. been created, and the colours were never there. Yeah. The cans, the technology was never there. To have this when you was you would have happily paid for the shit yeah. if you had the money yeah. and you, yeah. you knew that the colours yeah. were there. We would have paid for it, yeah, for sure. But the paint wasn't that good quality back then. No. I mean, so we were just, just yeah. When it when it comes to racking, we were just racking every day. I had lists of shop size to get my paint from regularly, regularly, regularly. Did you get banned from? I bet you got banned a couple. Banned from loads of shops. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, was, I was out racking. That's the only way you could get up back then was to rack. You had to be a thief. Yeah. You know what I mean get up if he wasn't a thief he had to be rich I and mean, then you have to pay for the pain you know yeah, what I mean yeah. you have to be a proper like teeth you have to do all the techniques tuck a t-shirt in walk in with a colour chart you have to know all the psychological ways how to do stuff yeah. you know what I mean yeah, yeah racking was quite a tech it was a big part of graph yeah. big big part it was like mainly 60% really of the mission yeah you have to get your paint you never had no money, so you had to bunk the train to get there. You had to steal the paint, bunk back, and then you had to go to the train yard at night and hopefully yeah. paint without getting caught. And then you had to get away from there. Yeah, it was. Yeah. What drove you? What drove you to, in that situation to like constantly be on the back foot of like doing wrong to create the right? Excitement. Was it? It's excitement. People say, "Oh, it's buzz," but I don't really use that word buzz. It's more of an excitement, more of a, you know what I mean, with my mates. We've got something in common. We're going to do something illegal. We're going into the tunnels. Normal people don't know about this stuff. It's more, it's more like that. Uh, it's the intel. Yeah, it's more underground. Yeah, you know what I mean? right. yeah. 
Yeah. It's more secret agent kind of stuff. Now graphs are all out in the open. You can find out anyone, you can call this person, you can contact scene now or scheme or but back then it was more like everything was a bit more yeah. I mean it's a bit more quiet. I think that was the appeal for a lot of people in the UK hip hop scene, me especially, was the whole kind of the undertone of like you not knowing where these guys are. What yeah. they're doing, what they're do how they're doing, how they're doing, how they're getting all these colours on the side of the train. You know what I mean? Yeah. How do they know where to see this train to get a photo? You know what I mean? How do they know how to get in there and the electric tracks and all that sort of mystery? You know, how do they get their paint? Yeah. yeah, it's very romantic, isn't it? I do miss it. You know yeah. what I mean? I do miss them raw years. You know what I mean? We just go out there and just meet people, meet other people on the line. What are you doing? Are we going back? Come back in with us go back and get some paint and then they'll take you to their plot or you take them to your plot and yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like our underground family yeah yeah it's right it's and they're, they're, it's a code isn't it yeah it's a code yeah definitely now graph's a bit different it's a bit more it's a bit more open it's a bit more out there